Hello. So I want to discuss dashboards with you. Uh, we've made a lot of changes, especially around UI, dashboards, boards. Uh, this 10 minute video should give a tour of the basics, sharing, saving, changing the sizes, um, and then build to more exciting things. Um, so let's begin. What we need is um, a project that has data and um, a dashboard. So let's start. We open a new dashboard by clicking on the new dashboard and we get an untitled dashboard. Here we can simply add a report either through here or here or use a template. Using a template is a very easy way to see specific templates based on KPIs that we've seen that are relevant in engagement, retention, and growth. So you can Simply choose your event, the sign-up event. Uh, you have some information about this event, what it is. Basically something free that you want to get the user to do. So let's do, let's uh, say app open. And then what's the value moment? Okay, what is like sharing posts, streaming services, watching video. So I can select my um, channel subscribe, for example. And if I click apply, voila, you have a dashboard with a lot of context and things you can get started on. But let's do a new dashboard and look at those. So as I said, the first thing is you can add reports. So you can add an existing report or build on top of it, or you can add a text. A text is basically to tell a story. So if I add an existing report, for example, and I want to add this growth, what is my product DAO or WOW? Okay, so as you can see, I've added this report in a single click. Of course, I'd like to name this dashboard. I can name this dashboard my dashboard or something meaningful that will, of course, help the rest of the team. So main KPIs, let's say or by a specific version. And as you can see, I can either save or save and share. If I save and share, I can share this with people, with teams, as viewers, as editors, or I can simply give everyone in the project access. Okay, this is super important. Actually, this gives them not only access to your dashboard, but also to all the reports under this dashboard. Okay, so once I click on save, as you can see, I have my main KPIs dashboard with my first report. Now this report is a bit small, so let's enlarge this. If I hover here, I can click on the plus and get this a bit bigger. I'd like that even a bit bigger. And now let's add an additional report. I'll add an existing report and select how many new users are signing up. This looks great, but it's a bit hard to read. So I think I might change this to a different type of graph. And this has no impact on the report itself. I can change the chart type here. Okay, so if I change the chart type to a metric, I can see a number, which is, now it's looking good. Did we say context? What do the numbers mean? Let's add some context. Okay, this doesn't need to be this big, and I'd rather add a text to tell a story. Okay, so let's move this around and say um, main North Star metric. Okay, so a cool new feature, I can select this and define if I want this a title, a subtitle, and additional things if I want a bulleted list, highlights, links, ordered list, divider lines, underline, basically anything to give context for this dashboard. And now I can start telling people the story about what this dashboard really is and what those numbers mean and what story is behind all the reports that I want to show them. So now after we got the basic structure of our dashboard, we know how to share it. Okay, we can share this dashboard. Again, teammates, every project, of course, we can just copy the URL and everyone who has access to view minimum could see the dashboard. We can even create this dashboard public and be accessed to, by everyone 
and by access by everyone, it doesn't mean that everyone can log in and that you can make it private with a password. Um, a few more additional cool features that I think you'd be happy to see. One is filters. So basically, although I have these reports that look at the last three months and last 30 days, but I want to see today. I want a dashboard to be just for today. So let's duplicate this. As you can see in the menu, I have duplicate, pin for project, we'll talk about that. Email digest, we'll definitely talk about that. And additional ones you can explore. But if I duplicate this and I say, main KPIs daily. And then I can filter here and say instead of default, which is what the report does, I can say today. Only today we can even filter additional things such as show just by city. I want to see just by New York. And everything I see here is by New York. Let's look at the last 30 days so I can see growth, how many new users that opened my app. I have three new users in the past 30 days, and this is my DAO as well, just for New York. So I can save this to a new dashboard, and then I have my daily KPIs for the city of New York. So as you can see, this is very robust and I can do a lot of great things with it. What else can I do? And I showed you this earlier. We can pin for project, which is basically to pin it for the whole company. Everyone who has access to the dashboard will see those daily KPIs. And you can, of course, unpin that if, you, if you'd like and manage sharing also from here. An additional cool feature, which I told you I'll get to, is Email Digest. And Email Digest is my way of sending this story out to people, to stakeholders. Okay, they don't necessarily need to have mixed panel, but if they don't have mixed panel or don't have access, they'll just see the numbers and the report you send them, but they won't be able to access the system. Okay, so I give a name to this digest. I select which dashboard I want to do, which is my main KPIs, not the daily because it's New York. Who I want to receive it. Okay, so here I'm sending it to myself and when I want to send it. So I want it daily at one, I want it early in the morning, as soon as they go into the office. So at 9 a.m. US Pacific and say, once I do that, every day at 9 a.m., the stakeholders will get an email of the main KPIs dashboards with everything on there. I have to say it's beautiful. So these are some of my tips around dashboards. I think you can play around and see what additional features you can get. But I think you got the context of filters, public dashboards, how to customize the dashboards, how to move them around, and some basic um, best practices around.